spin around armbar. Spin and rock leg. I sit down, I'm keeping my leg tucked under the back right now. And we go for the armbar. Alright, this could happen pretty much in any armbar situation like this. But he's gonna start the hitchhiker out right now. And as we know, when we hitchhikers out, I can always bring my leg up to go to the amaplata situation. All right, so I can always come here and start to you know attack amaplata. But obviously we can see that this, this pulls us right into the rodeo position as well, right? So I'll, I'll grab the lapel and I'll grab the belt. Once again, just making sure the belt grip arm is trapping his arm. So now we're in rodeo control. I'm gonna set up an arm bar. He's gonna hitchhike her out of the arm bar. Leg comes up. The arm is still between the legs. We're in a plot of situation territory. And I'm gonna grab the lapel. Grab the belt and hold. My base and I drive, pinch my knee and drive it up, catching the elbow with my hip. Moving up to an S mount position by pulling the arm up. Heel goes to the head. And I got my under over grip. Control the hip. Sit on the chest and come around, right? So we have the arm bar. So now, let's say he's going through the hitchhiker escape. Go ahead, he's going. Come up. So a lot of times people will you know, block the hip like this and then he'll lift his head and he'll come around my back. So that's the full escape, right? So go, go back on your back into the arm bar one more time. So let's see again, he's going, he's rotating the thumb down, the elbow up and he's going around. So I want to make sure that this leg is just coming up. So it could be feeding right into an amoplata, if that's what you like, right? But once again, if these guys are continuing with the movement, the head's coming up next. So if I'm trying to do an amoplata, I might end up losing control and position here. So I have the head hook, the lapel grip, and the belt grip to control this position. If my focus is to go right to the amoplata, I might lose the opportunity for the rodeo guard, which is going to give me the opportunity for all those submissions we practice. The plot, the triangle, the arm bar, the lapel chokes, the body slice. There's all this stuff that we can get from here. Um, a more, I have a higher percentage of getting them from here. I have a higher percentage of getting an amaplata from here than if I just attack the amaplata right away. Transition in the hitchhiker, I'm passing the leg over, moving into that amaplata position, but my goal is to just move right into my rodeo grips. All right? In the belly, however we get arm bars, it doesn't matter. The knee on the belly spin around arm bar just sets up. This is one of the best opportunities for the hitchhiker to escape because that leg's not there, the body's open, you see, so it's one of the best opportunities for that escape. We're here. Leg just popping over once again. So now he's gonna try to complete the escape. I'm heavy over the head with this leg already. Controlling the head, I don't want to be loose here, so he passes around. So I'm heavy on the head as I work my lapel grip, and then my belt grip, and trap the arm. So once again, we have the rodeo. So once we get to rodeo, guys, if you want to practice a few different things, you can. So again, if he lifts the head, he stuff it by pushing and pulling. If he moves the hip, we do the same thing. If he sits out, we crunch in. And then we extend. If you roll, you just tuck the chin and roll with them. I guess we got nice control. We push it with the foot. We can kick it off. Remember, if you push it with the foot, we have a couple different things we can do. We turn in, we can fight right here. One, two, and then three, loop it around. If you push it with the foot, we just recently talked about how oh, that's a great opportunity for the wishbone submission.